a dream job, but we all, we have to be honest about what kind of job it is, and that the two most successful coaches uh, in in the school's history have basically you know they got burned out, or there was a sense that maybe they got burned out, and so you, we've got to be honest that it's a hard job and it's a challenging job, and you got to have somebody that has the right mindset, and, and you know Tim said they've got to have a steady hand but nerves of steel, mm. and. Um, I, that resonated with me. I thought about that a lot throughout the process. And, uh, you know, I saw Dan change so much from when he first uh, got to MSU till the time I left last year. And I saw him mature. I saw him handle situations so much better. And, and it was, I could tell that he learned from watching Urban and how Urban dealt with things. And then he improved as he went along. Um, some of the things he might have blown up about his first couple years as a head coach, he wasn't blowing up with about yeah. later on in his time. And so um, the other part of that is is our staff, the UAA, the administrative team, we need to figure out ways to, to make this job as positive an experience as possible for the people who are in it. I don't know what that means, but we need to be open-minded about, uh, about, about how we uh, – make it a really positive uh, experience. We talk about championship experience with integrity. We talk about having fun. And a lot of times we're focused on our student athletes, rightly so. We're focused on our fans and alumni, rightly so. We need to, we also need to focus on our staff. Yeah. Our staff have got to, it's got to be a productive, rewarding experience because they are the ones touching all those student athletes and all those uh, fans. And so uh, we're going to look for ways for maybe we can, we can make sure that it's as, a coach is able to have success and be here long term.